This is Arctic Runner. These packets, as you can see, come from a vineyard. Um, these are fairly typical colours. Uh, the video is deceptive. That's red that I'm working with there. Uh, hot orange is one that I'd like. The patches are not big. Uh, you'll see as I take this out, the, the skin piece is about one inch square, thereabouts. However, it's very dense and there's essentially no waste. All of that is, is um, stuff that I'm going to work with. Now, if I take a bunch off the skin, um, you'll see that there's a couple of different uh, hair lengths there. There's um, the main bunch is one length, and then there's these stray longer, slightly stiffer fibres. Um, if I cut that away, you can see um, I've got a slight taper going. Uh, actually, that's a typical bunch of a Arctic Runner skin. There's very little waste, so if I clean out the butts, there's there's very little short stuff coming out of there. Um, if I turn it round and hold it as I would to hand stack, um, these longer fibres are forming a taper. Um, I might want to take those out and align them with the main bunch so I can hold it, slide them out. And it's just a matter of adjusting your grip, not holding too tightly. And then repeat that a couple of times to, to get the bunch uh, as I want it to be. And that would make a nice substantial wing, tail. Um, in texture it's similar to Arctic Fox. In um, gloss it's similar to Squirrel. Handles a bit like Squirrel. It's got a slippery fibre. And that's Arctic Runner. It's one of the, the newer soft fibres that have come through.